Welcome back, just in time. So, we beat up the big dude. And then, uh... He wasn't the final boss, after all, even though he looked really big and mean. And then, uh, who is it uh, other than fu fucking God? What the hell is this? Corderia. So I guess we gotta beat up God or something. I mean, surely. So let's beat up God, or whatever. Fair enough, the big guy wasn't the final boss, we have to fight God instead. Makes sense. It's even got the Bowser song. Or it did for a second anyway. Whoopsies. Uh, okay. I want to keep that one. Yeah. 
Give it up, God, you're dead. Music, make up your fucking mind. Yeah, I did it! That is so hard to do. God, that was close. Damn. Doesn't get much closer than that. No. Oh, shit. Go that way. Okay, it does. It gets a little closer than that. It gets that close, which is even closer than before. Super closeness, too. To go even further beyond close. I might need this. Fucked it up. Okay. Okay. No! Why? Is there more? It's so fast! Is everybody here? I see somebody on YouTube who said Yata, so yes. Alright, we beat God, so that's the end, right? Actually, the Twitch stream might be dead. Let me, uh, reboot that. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Until that comes back. Okay. Twitch. Are you back? I restarted it because it wasn't actually encoding anything, so... Alright. Okay. So we beat God. That's the end, right? As I said earlier. It's gotta be. We just beat fucking God. Or something. Like, a divine being! What could possibly come after that? End of the game. We did it.
All right, there's some witch chick. Whatever. There's another witch chick. I actually skipped this before, so I didn't see these witch chicks. This is like a spoiler. Now you know. But that wasn't the final boss. Of course not! We have to fight the giant sky whale first, Rockman! Why would you think that was the final boss? Silly. You gotta fight the giant sky whale first. Why is there a giant sky whale? This is the part that made me wonder what the hell is going on in this game, because giant sky whale? Really? I just beat God, and you're making me fight a giant sky whale? <laughs> this is the real final boss? Seriously? Go, go, go! Damn it! You ruined it. Double, damn it. doing much of shit to this, this dude right now. Oh, but that'll help. So I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Was easy. All right, we beat the giant sky sky whale or the dark clone, depending on who you believe. So then, uh, this happens. I legitimately 
thought this was the end of the game last time. Because we beat the giant sky swale and then, uh... It turns all, you know... Motherfucking... Come on. There it goes. Beat the Sky Whale. Bitch turns all fucking rainbow. We did it! We saved the world! Happy music! The shadows are gone. The world is safe. It must be the end of the game. Is this the windfish, by the way? Could it be? We saved the world! Everything's great now! It was at this point that I was just letting it play on the side while watching the thing I was watching with Southpaw. It's all thanks to you. Magic Lion Prince. We'll always be together and forever and happy. But suddenly, it's the witches from earlier that I didn't see before because I skipped it. I was only half paying attention and it was really quiet at the time. So I didn't really notice this was happening. They just bust into the end scene like assholes. And they don't even fucking let you choose a character or anything, it just starts a goddamn battle. So I had to like scramble to pick up my controller and I was like, oh shit, it's not over. So now we have to beat up a stack of witches. Alright. Here we are. Here it is. Just clear half the fucking screen on your assholes. Oh, it didn't continue. Hope you guys weren't expecting a good song for your boss fight. 
Because this song's stupid. And it's over! <laughs> Took a minute! Beat the last guy! Alright, that was actually the last boss. And we have beaten Panel de Pon very hard. Oh, here's some more question marks above my head. So here's the ending of the game. The witches are now tiny, next to these flowers. They are, in fact, frog-sized. You'll see. There's the frog. Why are they tiny now? Where did they come from in the first place? Were they the ones actually behind all the darkness? The fuck? Lighter tea. Then we get our congratulatory run through the credits. End scene. What the fuck just happened? Why'd I beat up some witches after killing God and making the sky whale shine? I don't know, I died five times last time and one time this time, and it was the same. I'm not sure if it would be different if you died a hundred times, but I'm not able to die a hundred times, even if I wanted to. I haven't be beaten it with zero deaths. Well, actually, yes, I did. I beat it on hard with zero deaths, and it was the same. Nothing interesting happens after this, but might as well let it run through. It's a good game. I like it. I mean, it's just Tetris Attack again. Slightly harder. Slightly longer, also. That's nice. I'll show off the floor player mode before I, uh, before I end. It lags like a motherfucker. Thanks, Emery Georges. <laughs> 
<laughs> Drake just snaps awake and then goes back to bed. Later, Drake. I don't think I actually watched this this far last time. Or I wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, remember that time that we fought somebody inside Patrick's underpants? Good times. After graduating from the kindergarten puzzle school in the sky, the students take their legal dose of shroom acid and try to meet with Rainbow Bright. Only, they mistake her for some kind of size-changing magic wishes and promptly give her the smackdown. Then, they walk the Rainbow Road until the trip wore off. Then, the real adventure happened. What was the real adventure? Getting back home? I'm glad that the game is cheering itself so that we don't have to. I also apologize about the fact that this looks like it's a tiny square inside of the actual stream window. The game is actually that letterbox in the window I'm playing it in. Unfortunately, there wasn't a super very hard. Anyway. I don't remember what the option was on it. There it is. Okay. Let's go against the CPUs again. I want to be a player. Thanks. I'm going to get my ass handed to me. This is impossible. I'm going to be the lion. Thankfully, they made it so you can choose... Who you want to be for everybody with one controller. Check this laggy shit out. Again, I must iterate that I lost first last time. I have no idea where or why the garbage goes. It seems to just randomly choose someone. Fucking Christ, look at this! Oh, hey, I beat somebody. Oh, the interesting thing, by the way, once you lose, you can keep playing and sending garbage at everybody else. And you, you just do whatever you want.
Oh no. Okay, we're good. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for this. Oh, wow. That's a lucky streak. Jesus Christ! one. Almost got wrecked. <laughs> you guys tired of the song yet? <laughs> Ain't it a beaut? Come up here now. Eventually, someday. God 
God damn it. No, no, my combo ended. After 17 months. Just me versus one now. I got this. I got this, fam. I don't have this. Oh god. I very much don't have this. Ah! I don't know. Oh, holy shit! I'm some so still alive after that. How the fuck did I survive that? That was. I should be dead right now. Honestly. Not even joking. Oh no. A combo. Odds will just beat three of those motherfuckers at once. God damn! It took me seven minutes, but I did it. In the time you can beat Tetris Attack in a speedrun, I beat three of three level ten CPUs at once. God Jesus. That was insane. This also has, like, the normal puzzle modes and endless and all that. Oh, this is actually the tutorial. It's just like Tetris Attack was. It's a great game. I wish it was in English. But even without being in English, it's a great game. For fuck's sake, Nintendo, please give me a new one. Give me a new puzzle league game so I can play this online. God, there's no good way to do it other than Netplay right now, and Netplay is garbage. What's the level for? You mean, uh... This? That's the handicap. If you're on level 10... I will show you versus just me. If you're on level 10, or I think it's the any of the red ones, you get extra blocks so it's harder to make combos. So you get this upside down triangle block. So combos are harder to make because there's more blocks to deal with. In some ways it makes it easier to not accidentally do combos. But I've never played with this, like on the hard difficulty. So I'm not used to having that extra block there. I could probably do just fine with it. But I, I haven't trained my brain to work with that. So I wouldn't do it as well, I don't think. That's all it does. Oh, that, that? There's three things, actually. There's that. The higher ones give you that. But also, your blocks move up faster. And you get much less time between... You see that? I died immediately. You get much less time between it hitting the top and the safe safe zone of you moving blocks around and it and it ruining your life. So the, the time between that, like it hitting the top and that, is much less. But yeah, you can keep playing and fucking with everybody else. I think that's a really cool feature for this, multi like, four-player mode. Also, you can't die, I don't think. Yeah. 
And that is Panel de Pong for GameCube. The end.